Good morning! Welcome back to the weekly vlog. Hi guys, if you're new here, my name is Adele. I post a couple videos a week. I've got a TikTok, an Instagram, a podcast. Come along, join the family. Please subscribe, like this video, leave me a comment. I will always get back to you. If you're a returning sub, thank you so much for coming back. I love you guys. Can't do life without you. You're my favorite people. We need to get up, we need to get ready, we need to go, and we're going for a morning walk today. Good morning! A single ear flip! <laughs> exactly what I needed. I'm not taking little Franklin with me on this walk because it's going to be longer than half an hour and he can only do half an hour. So I'll walk Franklin maybe at lunchtime because I feel like the sun is going to come out. missed you. The walk with Brad was perfect. It's such a beautiful walk. It was on the Maribyrnong River. I'm straight into breakfast. I would never usually eat on my computer because that's like one of my rules. However, I have to get this vlog exported and uploading. If I want it to go live at five o'clock, it's currently 10 a.m. It is 12.15. I have exported the vlog. It's got seven minutes left. I now have to upload it to YouTube. I'm going to start uploading it and head to the gym and we will see if I can get this up by 5 p.m. I'm really impressed with myself. I can't believe that I got it done the way that I did. I mean, watching it back, I just did the final edit now. There are some things that I didn't like that I did, but I can learn for this week's vlog. So I'm quite happy with myself, actually. I do need something extra. Cheers. Look what arrived just before I'm about to head to the gym. Mum, I am going to unpack it when I get back. Is that all right? Uncharted territory, everyone. I'm going to the gym at lunchtime. There's not that many cars out here, so it shouldn't be busy. I'm scared. For the first time, my hair was annoying and bothering me in that session. I think I gotta start tying it up. <laughs> That's how I know it's grown. <laughs> also the gym was packed but it was okay. No one in there seemed to be trading lower body so I had access to everything I needed. Having leftovers so it doesn't splatter. I'm obsessed with this meal. It's feeling like spring this week. The weather's gonna be so good here. I'm really happy about it. Mm. <laughs> currently just working on a bit of a blurb and biography kind of description for the website for the journal which is very exciting a little sneaky update obviously going away didn't do me any favors in that I guess it's delayed everything a little bit but it is what it is it'll get done and it's taking as long as it needs to take I don't have a timeline a definitive timeline for you guys yet but as soon as I do I will absolutely be telling you and I'm getting really excited. I'm a bit of an impatient person as well, so I want things like yesterday, but this is really teaching me patience. Work is done for the day. It is nearly five o'clock, so I'm gonna wrap up. Oh, I nearly changed my background. And we are gonna take a little Franklin out for a walk. Daylight savings, hey? It's Ooh. light. It's coming. It's coming. We just got back from a walk and we're going to make dinner together. Tonight we are using HelloFresh, who are very kindly sponsoring this week's vlog. So thank you, HelloFresh. They've also very kindly given us a discount code. It's Adele YouTube. If you use that, it will save you up to $200 off and it's valid for both Australia and New Zealand customers and past and new customers. So if you're a past customer, you need to have been canceled for at least 12 months for it to be valid. But we love HelloFresh. It's just convenient, easy, less waste. And so tonight we're making quick Asian style beef tacos. We've got our bag, we've got our ingredients and mum and I are gonna do it together. There's only four steps for this. Easy. Which you guys know, work smarter, not yeah, harder. Absolutely. <laughs> Let's get into it. A little carrot won't hurt the diet. Smells 
so good. I give that meal a nine and a half out of ten. Yeah, I'd give it about a nine. I'd give it a ten. Nice. Thank you so much, HelloFresh. And if you guys want to use my code, it's Adele YouTube. I just wrapped up the Ask Me Anything and I quickly looked at the YouTube comments and they're all good. <laughs> I'm so stressed about changing the vlogs to a different day, but I know you guys will still support me. So thank you for your unwavering support always. We're now gonna quickly do a review because we haven't done one in ages and I wanna review the Cadbury chocolate. We just did it. I don't know what I was expecting, but it's caramel. <laughs> I was expecting milk chocolate. Okay, I was expecting like a hard bit of caramel inside, a hard oh, texture. I did like it. I didn't mind it. Look at the inside. It's good. Good boy. We're actually going back to the crate tonight. I love you. All right, I'll wrap you up. Good night. Good night, guys. I'll see you in the morning. Sweet dreams. You're ready to wake up and start the day? No? Good morning. Yep, there we go. Mum's in the office today and Franklin just looked everywhere for her. So sweet. It's 7 a.m. Running good for time. We're going to the gym. We're filming content and then very sadly going to get my nails done. I've got a shoot in Sydney on Friday and I just need less obnoxious nails, which is my own fault because when I got my nails done, I kind of knew about the shoot. It wasn't hundred percent confirmed, but I should have just got something more chill. And I'm sad because I really like them. And I'm sad that I've only had them for a week. Big waste of money, big mistake by my brain. We're going for shorts today. I was really hot and sweaty in the gym yesterday. And I don't know if it was just afternoon time. I don't know if it was the pre-workout. I don't know if I'm just being a sweaty bitch, but shorts it is. The weather's getting warm. I think I might wear shorts all week. Yeah, is the set on. Let's go smash our workout. vibes are high. I'm so happy. I wish that the weather didn't impact my mood so much, but it does. No blueberries today. I'm also getting back into this. I did really miss it while I was away, but it was nice to properly fully switch off. But I also know that this is like something that makes me feel good and helps me stay feeling good. So I will continue to do it. Showered, ready. We're going to get plain nails put on and we'll come back and get stuck into work. I did already film the content I had to film. I filmed two bits of content for the same brand, one for my channel, one for their channel, which is really exciting. And yeah, I did curl my hair as part of that. Content. It was like a get ready with me type of vibe. We're back here again <laughs> and Vicky is saving the day. I nearly cried as we shaved off the green. <laughs> it's all right, we'll get them back again. Exactly. Time to go home, get some lunch. I'm gonna eat at home and get back into work because I have to edit the content I filmed today and I also have to edit some of the vlog that I started yesterday so that, yeah, I'm not panicked when I get home from Sydney because being in Sydney is gonna make it a little bit hard for me to do the other stuff that I have to do because I'm gonna be so busy while I'm there. But sad to see the green go. They were really fun and I just was in a fun mood last week and I wanted fun nails, so I'll get fun nails the next time. I just came past to get two of the Turkish rolls. The ones with the sea salt flakes are the elite ones. Mum bought them by accident on the weekend. I got the sesame last time. Sea salt is where it's at. I'm really hungry too. Oh my gosh. I used the mozzarella that we used the other night in the cannelloni. Oh. 
just taking five minutes after eating my lunch in the sun because it does make me feel better. Got Mr. Frank out here with me, wherever he may be. I think he's going inside. I'm logging on now for the meeting about the photo shoot. I'm very nervous and excited. Hello. Can you hear me? Hello. Oh, sorry. I had you guys. Don't worry. This is just kind of a general chat just to touch base, obviously, before you come down. So you'll be coming down tomorrow evening and then flying out Friday evening as well. So we've got the studio booked from 9 till 1, which is like plenty of time. I'm feeling relief because flights are booked. I've just booked the accommodation for Sydney tomorrow. And yeah, I just am happy with what days I'm going because I was originally flying in like tomorrow morning and then flying home Saturday, which puts me in more unnecessary time in Sydney than I need to be. So I'm just flying in tomorrow night, which is fantastic. I can still go to the gym, film my branded content, edit my vlog, get my eyebrows done tomorrow and do what else I need to do here. And then I come back Friday night. I'm a little bit gutted because I'll be on the plane while Carlton is playing, uh, but I've got things to do on Saturday and work to do on Saturday. So it's <sighs> better. I'm happy. I'm happy. Now it's five o'clock. No one's home. I'm by myself. Carla's out. Mum's at the office. I'm going to quickly walk Franklin and then I'm going to start preparing dinner. Mum is home from work. How was your day? Yes. She went in the office. It's six o'clock. We're going to start making dinner. I think we have pork tonight. Is that what you feel like? Yeah, I do feel like that. All right, cool. Thank God. Also letting you guys know, we just started the new one of this. We finished the other one. We had a 50 mil one. I bought a 100 mil one. I thought Carla would use it when we were away. But I also think this has helped Franklin and helped his like mobility and his joints as well. It was recommended to us by the vet and his physio. Obviously talk to your own vet, talk to your own dog physio. But so far, I'm really liking the results that I'm seeing. And I'm putting it down to this, the physio and his weight loss. And dinner is served. I wish you guys could smell this because this smells unreal. This is actually pork, not chicken. And we had pork cotoletta in Positano. It's actually quite popular in Italy, so mm, I'm excited. And because I've remembered, we've got to put the lime in. Oh, mine has a sticker on it. <laughs> Damn it, I did wash it. Delicious. Yum. I'm very torn on if I have an early night and just go to bed or if I start packing. I got my suitcase out and poor little Franklin freaked out. I wonder if he thinks, oh, she's gone for a long time again. I'm going to explain to him <laughs> that it's only like two days, three days. It's fine. It's going to be fine. Home for 10 days, already using her again. These PJs also remind me of my trip because <laughs> I wore them so much, but I put Franklin in his bed and I have decided against packing tonight. I'm gonna save that for tomorrow. I'm gonna go to bed, not go on my computer, not do the packing, not do anything and just sleep because yeah, I wanna wake up at six o'clock. So fingers crossed, I'm gonna set my alarm and I'll see you guys in the morning. I did not wake up at 6 a.m. I woke up at seven. It's all right. Oh, it's a double if flip. Hi, Hanson. Nice stretch. <laughs> you know what I realized? I should have let him sleep with me because I won't be here tonight and he won't go in the crate. It's short season. I've got shorts on again. And the plan is a walk and then gym. I'm probably gonna regret this. It's early, so it's still a little bit fresh. Sweaty walk and we are done. I'm gonna go to the gym now. Franklin, you did so good. We have zero time to waste. I've got to leave here in 40 minutes to go and get my eyebrows done because they're so hairy. So I'm gonna like time everything and try to get out of here as quickly as I can. Look, not ideal. I only did four exercises when I had six to do, but I'm pretty impressed with what I got done. Something is better than nothing. And I had to do it so quickly because I don't want to be late to my eyebrow appointment. And had I just woken up on my first alarm and not snoozed it, I would be running fine. I'm not gonna be late, but yeah, it just meant I couldn't, I had to cut something out. I couldn't complete the gym workout, but we're gonna head off these eyebrows. Like, no judgment please, but can you just see all here? I haven't had them done since before I left. I did tweeze them in Greece, but I'm needing this appointment. What a day. 
Oh, I'm sad to be leaving sunny Melbourne. I'm back. I did a cheeky stop at Northland because I wanted to buy some basics just for like the photo shoot. I'll show you when I'm packing. But now I'm going to have a very, very, very late breakfast because it's 11.30. So I'm starving. I don't have time for pancakes. So muesli it is. I didn't even have time to cut the strawberries. I'm like, we're just going to have blueberries only. <laughs> This is what I'm gonna wear to the airport. I swear it's like my airport uniform. Mind you, I wear it when I'm not going to the airport. It's so comfy. And I am quickly just doing my usual makeup application because I'm going to land in Sydney at six o'clock and then I'm going out to dinner. So I'm just gonna get changed, but I don't wanna to have to do my makeup application all over again. Very quickly, I did buy two pairs of socks. Also bought a pair of wide leg jeans. They are mid-rise baggy fit. I bought another maxi. I already have one, but when that's in the wash, I want another one. So I do really like them. I thought I wasn't gonna like these, but they actually flatter me and look really nice to me. So we love that. We've got a plain tee for the shoot. This is all for the shoot. And then I also got this white top, which I think is super cute as well. Not me needing to literally go to the airport, but I've come to the PO box to get my stuff because they kept emailing me. I need to get in an Uber. Look at that. This will carry me over to dinner, which is perfect. I love you. I'll be back really soon, I promise you. All right, mommy's got to get in the Uber. We are at the airport. I've weighed my bag. It's only 17 kilos. I've got 23. I've never had that before. <laughs> Boarding. I'm just charging my phone and I'm doing a tiny bit of work. But look what I got from Mecca. I want to cry because they were expensive, but I needed to buy them because I want to do this to my face before the photo shoot. I would usually buy them from Catch of the Day, and they're a lot cheaper on there. I love the window seat. Look at the sunset. I have just checked in. I'm staying in Sky Suites. I'm staying right near the Amplify office and right near the photo shoot just because it's convenient. I can walk everywhere. And I also stayed here, I think, over Christmas last year. I don't know if you guys remember that. First room, oh, I nearly fell over, <laughs> is the bathroom. I'm going to have a really quick shower before dinner because I just feel a bit icky after sitting on the plane. Over here, we have my stuff. I need to plug my phone in immediately because it's on, what's that? Very low percentage. We've got our little kitchenette, our TV, couch. Is this a balcony? Please tell me it's a balcony. Oh, it is. Oh, lovely view of Green Square. And then over here, the bedroom. This is actually nice and cozy. It's giving me flashbacks to, what's it giving me flashbacks to? I didn't vlog on YouTube at this time, but when I first moved to Sydney, I lived in a hotel and it kind of has a similar layout. Quick little fit check for dinner. I'm gonna wear the denim jacket, so no judgment on the Apple Watch. It's not coming off. Anyway, I just want to freshen up because yeah, I want to feel cute at dinner, but I've got this top on, the maxi skirt, and then still got my sambas and my new socks. I'll give you a better look. I'm gonna take my black bag too, but here is the look. Let's go. I'm home. This camera does not look right. Anyway, we went to Mew Mew for dinner and it was really yummy. I've been there before. I also had two drinks, which is not like me, but I was in the mood and you know what? I feel fine. So happy days. I am going to have a quick shower, another one, and just like get into my PJs and get ready for bed. I don't have to be in the office tomorrow till maybe like 10, which means I can have a bit of a sleep in. One thing about me is I do love a hairnet. <laughs> I'm gonna wash my hair in the morning, but I just hate getting my hair wet. I'm not washing it. I've got you guys literally in the cupboard. I'm obsessed with these, but my eyebrows just started to sting. I think that maybe I shouldn't have done this today because the skin's a bit raw. My retainer's in. I'm so happy about it. PJs are on. We are gonna say goodnight. I'll see you in the morning. I know I said I would wash my hair, but I think I need to wash my hair tonight. Do I just leave this? 
I can never do my makeup in the bathrooms in these places because they literally have the worst downlighting and then I do my makeup and I go outside and I look like I did my makeup with my eyes shut. So I'm doing it in the natural light here. However, I've forgotten my brow pencil. So I don't know what I'm gonna do about that. Okay, I'm ready. I got changed three times this morning. You know when you put on an outfit and it just is not sitting right on you? Anyway. Here is the outfit today. I feel cute. I do like how my hair and makeup has come up, even though I'm missing the eyebrows. <laughs> anyway, we're gonna catch an Uber to the office. I'm gonna take you guys along for the day. And I'm so excited to give you like BTS, like cool BTS today, because it's more fun than me just sitting at my computer at home. I get to sit up at my computer in the Amplify office. <laughs> had a three hour strategy meeting. I didn't film any of it because obviously it is private and confidential and coming soon to your safe space season two. But wow, my brain's like on overdrive, thinking creatively. I'm definitely feeling like back into it. Em and I are gonna go get some lunch. I'm just waiting for her to come back from the bathroom. And yeah, it's been full on. I'm gonna record the first episode of season two, which is super exciting because I've missed recording and I'm ah, so happy to be back in everyone's ears. I'm nervous. <laughs> no, I'm okay. It I looks feel so like cute. Will I even know what to say? No, I will. Because <laughs> it's been so long? It's been so long. It's the longest I haven't recorded in. Crazy couch vibes. out here. Moving <laughs> tables. I just walked in the door also this is the only jacket I bought so I was literally rocking the double denim <laughs> again not my finest not my finest but what a day today was a lot in the sense that I felt so inspired but my mind was running on overdrive thinking we literally assessed all of season one of your safe space and I've never looked at it in such fine detail the way that I did. So that was interesting. And then I recorded one episode and it was very different to how I usually record. I just learned so much about how to record better and how to be a better storyteller and, and not so like corporate-y and <laughs> the way that I have been doing stuff. And yeah, it was just a lot. It was a lot for me to take in. And then straight after work, I finished up at the office at like five. I went to Steph's hairdressing appointment because we have been meaning to catch up for ages. Some of you guys may follow her. If you don't, check her out. Her IG and her TikTok is Steph Kelly. And we met on TikTok, but I think I need to sit down. It's been a long day. I think I need to put you there. Tonight was the first night I could meet her, but it was like the only time that we could do. And I was like, do you care if I come to your hair appointment? She's like, no, come. I went and we just chilled there and then she dropped me back here. So I'm really happy to have met her and grateful because we clicked so well. And it's just really nice when you meet someone that you've followed for a long time and that you admire and that, yeah, I'm just always so blessed and so grateful for this job and so grateful for the opportunities and the people that I cross paths with who maybe I never would have crossed paths with in the few, in the past. So I'm just really grateful. I'm gonna actually message her and say thank you. But now I need to have a shower because we have a photo shoot tomorrow. I've got to wash my hair. It has to be clean, dry hair. What else am I gonna do? I'm gonna order Uber Eats. I just ran to the Woolworths, got a water to drink right now before I sleep, a water for tomorrow. Some snacks for right now and a coffee for tomorrow morning because I'm going to be in trouble. I didn't pack my Nescafe. How do I pack the Nescafe and take it to Europe but I don't take it to Sydney? I'm so hungry. I just got so hungry. We had bubble tea and that like tied me over. I ordered a double cheeseburger nuggets. The embarrassment I had when I went down to get this and I turned the corner and what do I see there? The actual McDonald's. The McDonald's is less than 50 meters away and I ordered it on Uber Eats. I'm embarrassed. There's something wrong with my brain right now. I've been doing lots of silly things. <laughs> Please be good. Good. Sometimes it doesn't taste like Sprite. <laughs> Monopoly, what did I win? Chance card. The angel. 
just saying good night i washed my hair brushed the teeth the mac has went down so well my best idea today i'm exhausted i have no more words so i'll see you tomorrow morning good morning we are ready this is just what i'm gonna wear while i get my hair and my makeup done i'm obviously not gonna wear it for the shoot but i know that i won't wear it in the shoot or later today so that's why it's the outfit of choice we're gonna have a coffee put it in the fridge last night I'm at the photo shoot place. I need to show you what the staff gave to me. She was so, so sweet. This note made me cry this morning. Anyway, I'm running a bit late. Look at the letter, so beautiful. So she served me when I checked in and she wasn't there when I checked out, but she left me this. She was so, so sweet. Anyway, I'm so tired and I will land at 7.58 apparently. And the game starts at 7.50, so I'm not gonna be on the flight for the game, which is fantastic, but I just need to quickly get my bag, get an Uber and go home so I can at least watch like the second half. Go Blues, I hope. I'm gonna go get some snacks now for the plane. Someone's coming over to say hello to me while I'm vlogging. <laughs> Oh my god, I just noticed you by your time. Do you want to carry my vlog? <laughs> I'm getting some water and M&M's as well. Tray tables for the layer seat has a leg rest or device holder. Ensure they are... Hi. Oh, he's got the zoomies. I love you. I missed you. You're so cute. I ordered Hungry Jacks for Carla and I because it's just her and I here right now. And I've got a delivery coming. I'll show you what it is in a second. I have to put this dress on properly and you're going to see it on me tomorrow. But I got it uber parceled from Kirsty from Boss Camper. I have an event tomorrow with her and Khan and I'm so excited. I'm, she wanted to dress me for it. So, so she gave me this dress and it's beautiful. This actually goes across the other way. Oh, I love it. Our food has arrived. I've eaten so much takeout in the last 48 hours. Bacon deluxe. <gasps> That's for me. And a uh, plant-based whopper. I need a Sprite. Oh, this looks good. I just go to put my hand in my pocket because I'm unpacking and like putting my washing into the basket. That's the key card from Sky Sweets. I thought I lost it. <laughs> See my pocket? I accidentally stole it. <laughs> I've never been more excited to wash my face and have a shower because it's been a long day. <laughs> Very happy to report that I didn't leave my retainer in Sydney either. I'll never forget it again. <laughs> Look who is in my bed, little King Frank. I love you. Good morning. How is your sleep, Frank? We slept in the same bed. Oh, I look terrible. Say hi, guys. Missed you. Oh, he gives the best cuddles. I don't have time to go to the gym this morning or for a walk because I woke up late and I have an event to go to. So we may have to do that later. I'm gonna need a miracle to sort this face and this hair out today because I feel like I'm not giving my best. I only have time for this. I salvaged my hair. It needed a wash truthfully, but fuck it. I have to leave in 10 minutes. I'm trying not to wreck my makeup. Outfit on, the hair is done, jewelry's on, my bag is on, shoes are on. I'm giving big Melbourne energy today. <laughs> I didn't take you guys to the event, I've just actually finished up. I'm about to pay for my parking. I left my camera in the car because it doesn't fit in my bag. It was absolutely incredible and I will debrief with you in a second. I have to just 
make a payment. On my way home now, I wish that I had a brought you guys in because it was a beautiful space. It was at Young Hearts and it was Khan's collaboration with Boss Kemper that we were celebrating. Khan actually invited me and obviously elephant in the room, you guys know how we cross paths, but we remained friends. Nothing bad ever happened between us and I will always support him and I'm grateful that he wanted me there to help celebrate. But the collection was beautiful. Everyone was dressed in it. It's an entirely genderless collection. So very inclusive, very welcoming. And I just, I really loved it. And I love what the collection stands for. They actually sold out when they first launched and then they relaunched and this is what we were celebrating today. So very wholesome day. And then on top of that, I got to see people that I already knew and I got to meet some new friends today as well, which is cool. But we need to head home because I've got a lot of editing to do. We are getting into editing. I have so much to do. I'm trying not to panic. I just realized Mr. Frank hasn't had his W-A-L-K. Are you ready? Let's go. Walk was good. I've been editing and now we are going to have dinner. Everyone had pasta, but I had pasta at lunch. So I did get hungry jacks again and I got nuggets too. Oh, it gave me so much sauce. Thank you. King Franklin is sleeping with me tonight. Say goodnight everyone. I got a decent bit of editing done. I've realized though, and this happened to me last week, that because I just sat at the computer for like consecutive hours, my eyes started to strain and all week I had very sore eyeballs whenever I looked that way, that way, up, down, close them like they just hurt. And I haven't been wearing my glasses and I should be, so I need to start wearing them because my eyes are already sore, like I couldn't keep looking at the screen. It is what it is. We're going to go to sleep. I'm also going to use an eye mask tonight because I'm going to try and rest my eyes. I'm in pain. <laughs> Trust me to give myself eye strain. Mind you, I've diagnosed myself off Google. I've not gone to the doctor. I just diagnosed myself right then. <laughs> You're hungry, aren't you? I've had my coffee. I'm alive. The plan today is chuck these sheets in the wash, go to the gym, go for a walk, edit, have dinner with a friend. We can do it. Let's go. Here is this little sunflower that Carla got me. It's like knitted. I think it's so sweet. Anyway, sheets are in the wash. We are going to the gym. I did train Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. So I've got one day left and we're finishing all four days in the one week and I traveled and I still got all four days in. Oh, I was sore on Wednesday, but I feel ready to like get into it today. To match the sunshine, we're going for the orange set. is done. I've hung the sheets on the line. Air drying them today because it's going to be a nice day. No laundromat needed. I've just gone to turn on my computer and it's installing a system update. I wanted to do it last night but I said later, later and then I just did it. I'm waiting. It's taking so long. No time for pancakes. I'm gonna go eat out in the sun. Look how good it looks. Got a delivery. You're gonna laugh. I bought these pistachios. These are the ones that we had in Europe and I'm obsessed. The brand is wonderful. I got them on Amazon. The box just broke. That's how much I was craving them. So salty, so delicious. Taste test. I don't know if they're as good as I remember. They're a lot smaller. No, they are good. I miss these. I'm so happy. I'm just gonna have a quick shower because I wanna get ready for dinner. I don't have to leave yet, but I wanna be ready so I can edit and then just leave when I need to leave. And I haven't made my bed yet. The sheets are dry, but I'll do it when I get home and I'll wash my hair when I get home. I'm not gonna do it right now. I am ready. I didn't end up wearing this top in the photo shoot, so I'm wearing it tonight. I'm just wearing it with some jeans and my sneakers. I think it's really cute. However, it's see so you have to wear a bra 
when you pull covers because otherwise you'll see everything. I'm going to jump in to do a little bit of work and then we're going to head to dinner. I'm nearly done with the vlog. I can probably edit the rest of it when I get home. I'm not going to have a late night. I'm at dinner quite early. It's a 5.30 booking so I love an early dinner and I'm going to leave you guys here just because I've got this bag tonight and I can't fit you in but I'll see you soon. I'm home. Lucky I took my jacket because it did get a bit fresh there. I need to make the bed because my sheets are here. My bed is there. <laughs> I nearly convinced myself. Just sleep in the raw bed. Don't wash your hair. Just go to sleep. But I've just made it. <laughs> also, the sheets are crunchy because they were outside. And I love when they're crunchy. Because we're getting in. You don't have to do it. Single girl stack. Beautiful. I'm going to buy another set of bed sheets this week as well. Just like that. We have fresh hair. I did not straighten it. I just put the dryer through it. Hopefully I don't wake up looking like a bird's nest tomorrow. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to say goodnight. I'm going to wrap the vlog. I don't think there's anything outstanding that I need to wrap up because I feel like I've covered everything. Anyway, I have a massive, massive favor to ask and I hope that you guys can help me out. I need your help right now. I would love for you to vote for your safe space in the Listener Choice Awards, in the Australian Podcast Awards. We have been nominated, we're eligible, and I really want to give it a red hot crack. Underdog vibes a little bit because I'm going up against some pretty amazing podcasts, but I know our community and I know that we're strong and I know that some of you listen to the podcast. So if that is you, please, I will put a link below. I'll put a link on the screen. Go and vote. It would mean the world. I will send you a virtual hug. Franklin will send you a virtual hug. And yeah, I want to try and give it a crack. Now, I am going to say goodnight. Little Franklin is in Carla's bed. He says goodnight, but he was cozy with her, so I left him. And yeah, I hope you guys have a great week ahead. Be safe, look after yourselves, do something nice for yourself. And if you're feeling low or not like yourself, just hang in there. I promise you it'll get better, and I promise you it will lift. Okay? The storm always passes. I love you. Look after yourselves.